Hey guys, and today on John's Woodwork, I'm going to be showing you how to make this scroll saw bowl. For those of you who are subscribed to this channel, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video for a channel announcement. And those of you who are, are not, please subscribe. I'm going to start with these two pieces of aromatic red cedar scrap, and I'm going to pass them over the jointer to get a nice flat surface for the glue to bind. Always check to make sure the fence is square to the table, and this one is, so we're good. And now I'll just run the pieces over the jointer to uh, joint up the edges and that'll give us a nice flat surface for uh, the glue to bind because we don't want people noticing that they're two separate pieces glued together. So look, that looks good. So now I'm going to glue them up and uh, this process is pretty straightforward. Just put them in the clamps, tighten them up a bit. And then what I like to do is put two clamps on the sides as you can see I do here and that's to help keep the pieces level. So I'll tighten them up and I'll just add some more quick clamps to uh, get a nice tight bond. So now I'll take it off and you can see uh, it bonds really nicely. Now we'll uh, pass them through the planer. I like to feed them through on a slight angle. I did too much of an angle on this, but if you feed them through at a slight angle, it'll help remove snipe, which is dipping in the board. Now do all your sanding now up to 220 or however high you're gonna go because it's gonna be hard to sand later. Now I like to put this green painter's tape or just blue tape on the board and that'll help protect the surface when we put some uh, spray adhesive on the pattern. The pattern we will be using today is a wobble pattern from uh, Steve Good Scroll Saw Workshop and I'll put a link in the description to this pattern. Uh, make sure you give a donation to Steve Good because these patterns are free but it's really nice service. This is the spray adhesive I use, 3M General Purpose, and just give it a nice little coat and uh, stick it on the tape. You don't have to worry about drying because we put the tape in. Now I'm gonna drill some uh, pilot holes from the blade on the drill press with a 1 inch drill bit or however small you have, and make sure you use a backer board to help prevent chip out. Now at the scroll saw, we can use some number two reverse tooth 20 TPI scroll saw blades. Uh, I just use the Olsen brand because that's what they have at my local store. And just start cutting out your pattern. I like to start in the middle and work my way out. And uh, be careful when you're coming up to your pilot hole, just to make sure your two things line up. And don't worry so much about staying on the pattern. Worry about keeping a consistent line. If you get off the pattern, it's not that big of a deal just slowly work your way back on don't make a sharp, sharp turn to get back onto your pattern. The mark of a good scroll saw is not how little mistakes you can make, it's how well you can cover up the ones you do. In the audio you kind of hear me playing around with the speeds and that's just because uh, I wanted to have a nice good speed on the scroll saw so I wouldn't mess up as much. And uh, just keep cutting, and you'll get it done eventually. It's a pretty fast project. Didn't take me that long. Now we can cut out the outside and I stayed pretty clear of the line because I got a disc sander and I can just sand it to the line with that. So now I'm going to go sand it to the line at the disc sander and uh, just get it down to the line. And now after we sand it we can take the patterns off. And here's my first mistake. You can see I broke it which is not that big of a deal. I've done it before and you can just glue it together. But what helps after uh, I learned my lesson you peel it off and then cut it with a uh, knife so you only have one strip of pattern instead of a whole circle of pattern you have to tear off. If that makes any sense. But just go careful and you should, or go slowly and you should be fine. And now put them all back together so you don't get them mixed up. Now I'm just using the blade as a sanding auxiliary for uh, getting some of these pilot holes disguised because you'll still be able to see them. But you can kind of just mix them in with the rest of the pattern if you kind of use the blade like a piece of sandpaper. And uh, you could put a piece of sandpaper in the scroll saw, but I'm 
good enough with it, I can just use the blade. And over at the spindle sander, we'll also disguise these pilot holes um, on the interior. I just used the scroll saw for the exterior. And uh, now we can squeeze out some glue. I use a scrap piece of cedar as a little toothpick to put a drop on it. You just go all the way around and uh, do that on all the rings. And you have to alternate your rings from left to right when you're going up um, because then they won't stack up right if you don't. You could just put them randomly, but I like to match up the grain. And uh, once you cut it out, you'll know what you have to do. It's really easy. Now I can flip it over and I like to use a battery as a weight, or you can just use some sort of heavy piece. Now that the ring that I broke is glued up, I can glue that on too. If you didn't break it, you could just do this all in one step. And for finish, I'm going to be using some Minwax finishing wax. I, looking back on it, I should have used some sort of spray on lacquer because it took a really long time to get the wax and all the little nooks and crannies. So I strongly suggest you use some sort of spray lacquer for finish, or spray on polyurethane. done that's it easy as that uh, now you got a nice little coin bowl or you could use the bigger pattern at scroll saw workshop and uh, make something a little bigger so thanks for watching uh, please like comment and subscribe and stay tuned till the end of the video for a channel on so this whole time you've probably been wondering where my table saw is and the truth is I don't have one and that is about to change. I will be purchasing a saw stop professional cabinet saw and I will do a bunch of videos with that. I'll probably do an unboxing and a review and maybe even a setup. Um, I'm really excited. It's going to cost me a lot of money though, but you're going to get quality if you pay for it. So um, I'm also going to start trying to put out regular content videos. I've kind of been sticking to two weeks, but sometimes I've gotten really behind. And uh, so I'm going to try to post consistent videos every two weeks. And school's just been crazy, and sports, and now track's starting up. So it's, it's going to be uh, a long haul. But in the summer, it should pick up a bit. Maybe I'll do some fishing videos. But um, I'm definitely getting a soft stop table saw very soon, and you'll definitely see a lot of videos with that. So thanks for sticking with me this long. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps. Gives me support knows that there are people out there who like watching this stuff so uh, um, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time thanks